so let's talk a little bit about what kind of data you're capturing and this is kind of just an introductory slide so i'll go to what actual payloads you have and we talked just before this that uh wing has introduced different rgb payloads so maybe the models you're seeing here are a bit different but can you talk through kind of the first side of the rgb data capture uh what payloads are are on there um and how they're supported yeah so What's really nice about the Wingtra, especially for me, uh, when I'm like, you know, business guy in the field, <laughs> like, is the ease of use. It's how to just, it's four screws, and the screws actually don't leave the payloads, they just pop out. So it takes, you know, a minute or less to like switch out the payload. You put the four screws in, pop, oh, take the four screws out or unscrew them pop it out, put a new one in, and plug it in. It's super easy. Uh, so when you're looking at the payloads, we have a 42 megapixel full frame uh, Sony RX R1, R2. Uh, that is our flagship camera. That's the one that, you know, probably 90% of our accounts get. Um, we have a more introductory level camera, which is actually the Sony A6100, which is a 24 megapixel camera. And we have the same A6100, but on an oblique mount for 3D reconstruction and stuff like that. There's actually a super good uh, video of a, well, it's a model that we made flying the city of Zurich in six hours that we made a 3D model of using the A6100 uh, oblique mount. Gotcha. And so you've mentioned the four screws and the swapping. There's also uh, the ability to add uh, multispectral cameras, uh, and these are all uh, manufactured by uh, MicaSense. And I, yeah. what we're missing here is the Red Edge P, correct? Yes. Yeah. So, so kind of talk about, uh, you know, for those that maybe don't have a lot of experience with multispectral data capture, how is it different from capturing on the RGB side? And, and is the workflow very similar as far as working within the app and, and those sorts of things for capture of, of multispectral? So the lucky, the good thing about Wingtra is we have a team of people to talk about multispectral. Uh, I am not the best person to speak to it, honestly. Uh, but it, it, the workflow is similar. Uh, it's the four screws you put it in. There's a additional top cover that lets uh, sun through. You have to do a regulating uh, picture, like pre-flight and post-flight, to help kind of uh, align it. But what's really interesting is yesterday I was part of a presentation with different, you know, agricultural software. But the amazing things you can do with multispectral is you know, flying over an orchard and you can see the different levels of, uh, you know, growth or how, like where the trees are being watered. You know, you're able to look at the, the different, you know, spectral images and just, you know, you're able to just make decisions. Like, like coming from like a farmer, the idea is like, hey, I have a, a orchard of 3,000 trees, and these 120 sporadically throughout the uh, orchard are not as healthy as the other ones based on the multispectral imagery. What's then they can go and look at it and find out that there's an irrigation problem, opposed to you know going through and just looking at each tree. They're not. It's that whole seeing the forest through the trees, uh, you know, parable. Right. But you know. Like I said, like this is not my area of expertise, but I have worked with it slightly. The workflow is very similar and it's still very easy. And so basically when you swap payloads, the, the airframe recognizes that you're using the same application and, and basically the plus play concept is the same. It just captures yeah. data in a different, with yeah, a different. That's right. Gotcha. 